Hello Europe, this is David calling from Canada. Today's topic is Australia in Eurovision 2020. So the singer's name is Montenga, Montegna. You'd think since it's Australia, I'd be able to pronounce their name and even that I can't pronounce. Oh well. <laughs> and the song is called Don't Break Me. So, I'll be doing a reaction as well as a review at the end of the video. So, we'll be listening to the song together. Let's hear it. That's a different outfit. I do really like the music so far. Oh, Ooh, I love the dancing. The Sia feel to the song. Her singing and the dancing reminds me of some Sia song. There's even a lot of emotion in this song. She hasn't lost her breath with all that movement that she's doing. She's doing an excellent job. It was a good song, very current, but that's what you expect from Australia. That's why I love having them in the contest because they always bring something very current. I always put them up there with like Sweden, Norway. They bring something very current, very North American sounding, which I love. But I do also love all the other cultures that other countries bring. So what did I give this song out of 10? I gave this song a... 8 out of 10, a very solid 8 out of 10. Wasn't my all-time favorite from Australia. They have brought some really good songs over the years. I think this song will do great in the contest. For sure it'll get through to the finals. I think it's probably going to get in the top 10. But my, my reviews usually have them higher or lower and then the contest comes along and Either the song does way better than I thought, or way worse than I thought. For example, Greece last year I thought was going to get in top 5, and I think they got in 20-something place. 
So, Australia first started back in 2015. It has brought a lot of controversy because they aren't a European country. Obviously, they're not in Europe. I think I, I like them in the contest. I know people have said, oh, well, if Australia, then why can't the USA be in there? Personally, I do not want America to be in Eurovision. They will make the contest their own. They will try and make it very Americanized. So I do not, I wouldn't want to see America in there. So the best result was back in 2016, where she got in second place. If you're watching Dancing with the Stars Australia, she's also on there. Currently, she's in second last place. The last place person went home already. And she's not the best dancer. She's quirky, but she's got the lowest scores besides the person that went home. So she's not doing the greatest in the contest, but she's fun to watch. She's funny. Uh, the worst result was 20th place in 2018. So that was Jessica. She also with Guy Sebastian and Olivia Newton-John. They were, did the concert last night for the fire. So in Australia, the I, if you ever watch the news, you'll know that Australia has had so many forest fires and they had this huge concert last night with tons of different acts and they were three of them among many others. So some of my favorites, 2015, 2016, 2018, and 2019. So last year's entry, 2019, by far my favorite. Her staging will be remembered for decades. It, it, it was just absolutely amazing. That was by far my favorite entry. Was it my favorite song back in their national finals last year? No, it was actually my fourth place. But when she came to Eurovision, and she did that staging, amazing, amazing. Even if you don't like the song or the singing, just the stage production, it was, it was great. So again, I gave the song eight out of 10. I think for sure I'll get to the finals. What do you think of this song? How well do you think this song will do in Eurovision? Do you think it's gonna get to the finals and what place do you think it'll get into? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you like my video, please like, share, subscribe. I will be updating my videos every day or a couple days, so every time we get a new entry in, I'll be making a reaction as well as a review video. Thank you for watching. Bye!